So, mm, we're almost almost about to end though. I just want to throw a few casual questions to you. Some yeah, more. go yeah. ahead, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. What are the key uh, cultural differences <laughs> did you feel between <laughs> Netherlands and here? I think uh, we can learn a lot from you. Yeah. You, It's very important that you have a good relation mm -hmm. and work in teams and be very social with other uh, persons. In Holland, we are not unpolite, but we are very direct. Mm -hmm. We can say, hey, well, we can be very direct, yes. but maybe also a little bit too individualistic. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing we learn, have to learn. Mm -hmm. What we think, we say. Yeah. Not always. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes, I think you think a lot, but yeah. you don't say it. Yeah, we just keep it. You keep it. Yeah. <laughs> And and that's 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 quite different. Um, it's about to about to about to end yeah, the session. Yeah, yeah. And just very just very short finish. answer. Yeah, very very short answer. I'm just uh, uh, expecting, as I have heard, the king or the monarch at all, right? Monarch he in Netherlands is very simplistic. They also use uh, bicycle, and we can easily he. right. We can easily see outside Him, the people. The king. Right? Yeah, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's right. very approachable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, we have a. It started when he was young. We it can be very cold in Holland. Yeah. And we have in the northern part. Have, we, we can skate mm -hmm. to eleven cities. We call it uh, the Elfstedentocht. Mm -hmm. And he did that uh, as an anonymous person. Oh. So thousands of thousands of people were skating, and he was skating with them. Oh, did and they handle it easily with the people? He just had one guard with him. Oh my God. That's why yeah. there's a still existing yeah. monarchy in the but Netherlands. But ceremonies, when it's very official, of course, then he's that guided a lot. Be. And you won't meet him on the street. For rules that you can't approach him that easy. Mm -hmm. But the level of... Um, when uh, On his birthday, mm -hmm. the whole country parties. Uh -huh. And he visits so, with his family, with his child and kids. He visits uh, this, some kind of cities mm -hmm. and then you can shake hands. The last question is, uh, it's kind of the tricky question for you, maybe, though, <laughs> I just want... Then we stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that much tricky as well. The thing is, Nepalese are going foreign countries in a high ratio these days uh, in terms of education, quality education, in terms of employment opportunities and so on, probably. It's just a trend right now, right now. What do you think? Is it okay to go foreign countries or in, in this way, like a lot of youths? They are living our own country. Yeah. Is it the good or bad or what are, what are the you know, circumstances will be? What do you think? Well, I think it's... Mm -hmm. If the numbers are too big, yeah. then it can be a dangerous situation. Yeah. Because then you don't can take care in a, in, a, in, a, in a good, responsible way for your own country. Same. I understand that the challenges mm -hmm. are outside. A lot of uh, talented people who study in, in, in Holland also go to the United States. They go also to England, Oxford, okay. and Harvard, and etc. Mm -hmm. But I think the idea that too much people mm -hmm. go abroad, that's not good. So what is your final message for the youths of Nepal who will listen to this video, podcast, uh, to the students, different youths? <laughs> I, should, I should say, uh, enjoy life, be creative, Yeah. look for opportunities, uh, don't be shy, speak out, mm -hmm. take, <laughs> take, the steer, take the steer wheel, challenge your older, older, older generation yeah. in a respectful way. Mm -hmm. um, well, um, yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's the main message. Thank you so much, Mr. Parkes. Uh, really nice to meet you. It was nice meeting you.